Hello love bugs. It's me Loverly. Welcome back to my channel. Today um, I have another video for you. This time it's a speed build video. Now I know I haven't been doing enough speed build videos on my channel. It is I've I've been thinking about it and it's kind of frustrating because like for a long time I just have felt kind of rather uninspired um, but yeah this is actually a speed build that I had some inspiration for simply because I um, was making it for my Sims Seasons Let's Play so basically I wanted to if you can tell by the you know the name of this. I don't know how you clicked onto this video without knowing what this is, but it is a one room schoolhouse. It even says right there at the top there. So yeah, that's what I'm making today. Now I did actually use inspiration photos for this as well. I ended up going and looking it up online, just kind of get a basic understanding of what does a one room schoolhouse even look like? Um, obviously it's one room, but you know, like you, you have the basic concept because to be honest I actually tried to do this just from memory alone sort of like okay I've seen one room schoolhouses you know I've been to old downtowns like with like a, I've literally been inside one before it was really cool actually um, but like like one that actually still stands one that's still existing but anyway <laughs> I've tried to do it from memory at first and then I ended up making a church instead which is rather funny so I will be making that speed build soon enough uh, as well but this um, back to this one basically because I realized oh that's not exactly it doesn't quite look what I was going for I ended up looking up the you know some images and one of the first ones was like it was this really cute white wood you know white panel siding and then like it had a lot of red elements and I thought you know what that looks super cute and so that's what I was trying to you know go for here so yeah basically it's it's rather simple on the outside but it's just it's really cute and it looks very um, welcoming now the, I could have made this like look run down but I figured I just kind of wanted it to look m more polished and like a really nice one basically where it's like it's in a quote unquote good neighborhood you know again those of you who haven't seen my Sims Seasons let's play my Sims 4 Seasons um, this was built for that so the idea be behind my Sims 4 Seasons Let's Play is that it's sort of set back in time which again is the whole reason why I wanted a one room schoolhouse instead because I mean I don't even know when schools started to get bigger like cities I guess but um, yeah definitely in the country in the rural areas like where my Seasons LP is set and back in the past you know there's pretty much only r one room schoolhouses basically <laughs> but yeah um here i am wanting to do a fun little hopscotch in the backyard um it ends up being glowy i guess is this do i end up keeping that or do i i don't know i i drew it with lines and then i replaced all the lines with um you know that just like glow in the dark pool like the stuff that it actually goes in the bottom of the pool yeah anyway uh, I'm super excited about this so basically anyone who watches my other you know my LP especially in the seasons LP or anything since seasons LP basically um, knows that I love those swing sets so much so I had to add them in the backyard of course in the playground really the play yard I should say so I tried to make it look like a realistic play yard again for the time period like just basically you know some monkey bars some swings um, kind of like how I had it on their old farm I had a little bit of monkey bars and swings but then I you know doubled it here and yeah all right and it's some funky music now so yeah um, but basically it's funny because I don't know if I mentioned this in my in the speed build of the farm because I did put you know these uh, 
what do you call them, the swings and the monkey bars in that build as well. But like, it always reminds me of my grandparents' house. Um, and that's something that I actually, I do want to build. So soon enough here, I'm going to have some Halloween type builds coming out soon-ish. Soonish, I have at least one Halloween build and one Halloween cast that I want to do. Um, I really did want to do something like Coraline. Like I was really all set and gung ho to do it, and then I realized that somebody else uh, had done it like really well and pretty much nailed it already. So I was like, darn, I can't do that. But I mean, obviously, you can always do stuff like that for your own interpretations. But yeah, that's why I kind of prefer not to build anything based on anything just because you know then it's like it's always like somebody else has already done it you know it's already up in the gallery so why recreate something someone else has done right so that's why I like building these sorts of builds because it's like it's from my own imagination you know so yeah anyway um So here I am finally furnishing the interior. Now I wanted to um, make this like foyer area kind of where they would have their cubbies. I realized later I put the cubbies elsewhere but it's sort of just like a nice little space that separates the inside from the outside again. So it's technically not one room anymore because we have a foyer and we have two bathrooms on either side boys and girls and I decided to do that just because like I said this is a much nicer grander type of one room schoolhouse than usual uh, than most you know and plus I figured it, it's supposed to be in a place that snows heavily that's why it's raised up pretty high and um, basically it's it's for you know <laughs> A place where it snows so that's the idea is that there's like a little mud room a, a, a little bit to kind of keep in the insulation and the warmth now here I am working on the quote-unquote natural lighting um, I really really wanted to have this ha uh, one room schoolhouse have really it's like really well lit however because I made it so much grander than a regular one room schoolhouse like I'm sure like it's like twice the size of a regular schoolhouse right so um, so the lighting I really wanted like natural just natural window lighting like you would expect like yeah you could put some candles and again I like I said I've made a church right around the same time I made this build so in the church there were lots of candles because that makes sense but honestly it would make more sense you know, again, set back in time, you don't really have electricity. You have, your options are candles or natural light usually, right? So, but it would make a little more sense in a, you know, in a, in this sort of situation just to rely on the natural light because, you know, you don't want the kids knocking over the candles or whatever, I guess, right? But anyway, long story short, and it's like in the middle of the day, so you can just open the windows wide, you know? So that's that was my thinking behind it anyway. And, but yeah, as you can tell, I did have to kind of cheat because I put those, I, those squares, those floating squares, if you guys don't know, those are from the by the bug area section, like the, the hidden objects section yeah here I'm placing a lot more because it was just so dark you guys even with the natural all those windows I added even with all the natural light it was still such a dark room and um, you know I even I made that light tower like try to flood the light through that too you guys probably saw me doing that earlier yeah basically it didn't work still so I had to kind of fudge it just a little bit <laughs> but anyway here I'm finally adding all the desks so I love these chairs they definitely remind me of one room schoolhouse desk chairs now unfortunately the desks themselves were a little harder to come by because if I don't know if you guys have ever seen a, a real old-fashioned one room school house like desk but my grandparents actually used to have one and I used to play school with that thing all the time it was so cool uh, and it had like this it was like this old wooden desk that was like it was attached to the chair and like 
like you would it was like a I don't know like a desk but then you lifted it up and it was like this uh, like shelf basically like it had a, it was like a cupboard I don't know how to describe it it's like um, what do you call it where you like you can put your stuff in it you know underneath there's, there's like this whole space but you lifted it up like a, the lid like there was a lid I don't know like the desk part became a lid to where you store your stuff. Anyway, <laughs> I hope that makes sense if you guys are trying to envision what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, I had one of those and I used to play school with it all the time and I would make my sisters play school with me and I would play the teacher and yeah, it was good times. Uh, speaking of the teacher, I had to put that little, again, something from Seasons because I was building this right after Seasons came out. Um, that adorable... Oh, actually, that's from Parenthood. What am I saying? That adorable little, like, popsicle stick flowers. Like, it just looks like something that a kid would have made for the teacher, right? Anyway, also, I'm super excited. I found... So, I've been talking over all of this, right? <laughs> um, basically, I loved being able to also find those quill pens. Um, yeah, I had to add some horseshoes in the backyard and some... You know, more fun stuff in the backyard, right? <laughs> oh, and also you got to love the globe because it doubles as a bar for the teacher, you know, just in case uh, <laughs> she gets a little, a little thirsty, a little tired of the kid, the kids and stuff. <laughs> or he or she, I should say, either gender teachers can be. <laughs> but yeah, um, basically I love that there's all those quill cool pens. So each desk had to have a quill cool pen. And yeah, I ended up going with those um, those red desks just because those were the only like desks that sort of mat like sort of worked. Um, and I figured, okay, it's red; it's like the rest of the outside of the building, so I it, it think it went. I think it works enough, but it's not as old timey as I'd like it to look, if that makes any sense. But yeah. I, I, at least they are technically their desks, and they, I think they would look cute, right? I just, just, you can imagine that there's some age to them, that they're a little older, and that they've, you know, worn down a bit, like the chairs. You can use your imagination there, but, <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, um, winding down here, just adding the last minute details, had to get the chalkboard behind there, and of course, I, so I'm, I really wanted to like incorporate that painting, I know it's kind of awkward above the, um, you know, the chalkboard, and I could have put like a clock or something up there, like that's what it normally would be, but I don't know, I wanted like a, a nature picture because like I thought it was like a picture that like uh this whoever built this school like it was like part of that town i don't know i don't know what i was thinking maybe a clock would have been better but anyway here we are in the screenshots now so here it is head on and it's actually kind of rainy when i took these little screenshots but then it got nice and bright out again but yeah i just i'm really happy with the way this turned out i think it's really cute I think it really does look like a schoolhouse, a one-room schoolhouse. And here's a little backyard. Look how cute. I had to obviously add a wishing well and some other fun things out there. It looks very fun to me. Like, I would play in this. I would play in this yard. Like, even the pond. Like, they can go searching for frogs in the little pond. It's just super cute. And, like, a fun little place that looks still set you know, back in time. And here's the inside with the foyer. Now, again, see, you can tell what I mean, but it's really dark in here. But yeah, I got the bookshelves down in the back there. And look at all those desks. So this will obviously seat a lot of Sims. And there's the little cubbies and the little art station and the bathrooms you can see. But yeah, basically, and the little teacher setup. I think the teacher's desk ended up looking so cute. But yeah, anyway, you guys can download this on the gallery. It's going to be under hashtag loverly or my EID, The Last Love Bites. Thanks for watching and have a lovely day.